Hi there, I'm Jessica. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to do a walkthrough of my newest setup for my budget book or budget planner. I think that finances are very personal so I will not have any real numbers filled out in here. I will also not be telling you how to do your own budget because I think everybody's situation is unique. If you would like a recommendation for a professional financial person to go to to look for breakdowns on how to do a budget, I recommend Dave Ramsey. We have definitely implemented his system into ours. This is my third setup. I've been doing budgets for many years with my husband now. And a lot of this I had on hand, but I definitely couldn't set this up without some help of some great Etsy shops that I will mention when we get to them. So let's jump right in. I am currently using a Kiki K planner in the size large, which is equivalent to A5. And inside, I do have a few things that are cutesy and fun because let's be honest, if you do a budget, you know it's not really the funnest activity. Well, in my opinion, it is not. So having some fun things in here just brings a smile to my face, but this is made to be functional and serve a very important purpose. Budgets really help me and my marriage out. So anyways, in the pockets here, I have a calculator, really cheapy one, just to put totals together. I have a spare jumbo paper clip, never know when you might need it. I also have this guy here, just because he's adorable. He is from the Etsy shop, Little Miss Daisy Rose. I kept in these notepads because I think they're great. I've been using them to jot down little notes or when I need to put down some cash totals for withdraw out of my bank account on payday, I could do it and just take one of these and put it in my wallet. In the back here, this is a secretarial pocket. I have the physical bills that come in our mail and I just like to use them to reference totals and when I'm done with them I will file them away or put them where they need to go. The first thing I thought of when I was like I would like to do a new fresh budget book is dividers. I needed some dividers and I knew just where to go and that is the shop on Etsy called Cardboard Couture. She has a wonderful selection and they're made beautifully and they also look beautiful. So um, I would definitely recommend this shop especially because she's offering a coupon code discount. So if you are looking for some dividers, her shop will be linked down below with that discount code. I also added a few extra things to my first divider here just for fun. I washi taped down this journaling card that I got from Amanda, the shop Fox and Pip on Etsy. She hand drew this adorable image and put it on a journaling card for me. And then with my label maker, I wrote out budget book. That's just what me and my husband have always called it. And then on every divider, I do have a sticker by the shop planner, Kate. Now, if you see these really cute little fuzzball paper clips poking up at the top, they're called Peach Palms, and it's from the shop Peach Palm. So all these shops I'm going to be talking about, I'll just put down below for easy access if you guys are interested in them. The first divider is called Calendar. And in here, I have a set by CS Illustrations, and I just have a 2016-2017 year at a glance for quick references on dates. And then I do have her monthly calendar on two pages. I'll show you what a blank one looks like. I thought that the font was really cute. I liked the sidebar and the bottom bar for notes. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually show you how I fill out my months here. So this is really how I do it. I just put down a little sticker to mark when our paydays are. We get paid on every first and then every other Friday. And what I do is I take friction pins by Pilot, the brand Pilot. These are erasable because I like to use pins, but I hate scratching things out. So I got a pack of those, and in red, I wrote all of our bills, actual bills on their due dates. And then in black, I wrote down anything extra that's going to require money. So there was a book fair for my son at school. I had a doctor's appointment that needed a copay. My son 
has his birthday party this month and we have been saving for that. There's also Halloween. We need a costume. We need some candy. So this is just kind of an overview and then I go into more detail and break it down every time we get paid. So on every Thursday, the day before payday, I sit down with this book and I figure out our budget. So that's where I go to this tab here that's called bills and I use these monthly bill trackers. These are wonderful, great quality and they came from the shop Little Red Papers. She had great customer service because she worked with me and customized what I was looking for. She has wonderful listings. I have a ton of her inserts in here you will see. So here's what a blank one looks like and then I just kind of mocked up how I use it and I do two budgets a month so they'll be check one and then check two. So in an example, in check one I will pay off all the bills and all the extras that happen the first half of the month. So first to 15th and then I will do another budget for the second half of the month. Now we always think of groceries as a budget um, or as a bill, I'm sorry, and we budget for it. We put an amount out and I do meal plan which is a whole category on its own. Um, and then because the date is actually not important because my goal is to actually kind of zero out the bank account. Once the income comes in, I write the amount and my goal is to basically have all the money allotted for so it's at a zero and we use cash envelopes and everything goes everywhere. So, so I wrote down all the bills including the extras. Example, Christmas, since it says November, we should be putting something away for Christmas and we'll take out the cash. So instead of putting a date, I put, is it a cash withdrawal? from our bank? Is it something I need to pay right away on the internet? Or is it an auto debited bill? Then I come up with a total, find out what's left, I divide that by two, half goes to me, half goes to my husband, and we just call that spending money. And basically use it to pay for, for our own gas, um, any needs and we need to stretch that out until the next paycheck. Mine's a little bit more complicated because I do the grocery shopping every Friday. I will get that cash amount and I'm usually the one to take care of the extras. So all that extra cash goes to mine. We will also from our spending money take care of our own credit card debts. So I will subtract if I have anything at all on my credit card, take that out from my spending, and we each contribute to savings. So I will take out that amount. Then I have a final total and I know that's what I got to work with until the next payday. So also we have this section here that's called spending and here I have more inserts by Little Red Prince. This is a daily spending tracker. On this one I have my name and the category is credit card. On the other side I have debit card. I did the same for my husband because you can't always pay everything in cash, especially online. I can't get my wants and needs off the internet by trying to hand the computer my cash. I will have to decide, am I going to debit it or credit it? Usually it will be a credit because the money shouldn't be in there unless I left it there. But we're really, really good with paying off our credit cards. So that's where this little bookmark comes in to separate the debt repayment trackers and I have one for me for my credit card and one for my husband for his credit card. Now these are also great for if you have a car payment, if you have student loans, but me and my husband have been doing this for so long that we don't. The only thing we need to be responsible for as far as debt goes besides our house, of course, is our credit card. So. We need to make sure we're always paying that off, keeping it under 10% or zero. The next category is savings, and this is where we keep our cash envelopes. Now, 
This isn't always savings, but I liked that title, seeing that title when it comes to cash over anything else. I do have this little note here by Dave Ramsey. He is the one that kind of brought this envelope system to light, and here's a little kind of inspiration that he said, budget each paycheck, fill up envelopes. When it's gone, it's gone. Don't be tempted to use credit cards. So I have this nice little bundle of six envelopes, each a different color, also by Little Red Prince. And there's a spot for category and a place for you to write down when you are adding or subtracting from your envelopes. I just think they're too cute to write on, so I know what each color means. But just an example, one could be our emergency fund. One could be the envelope we are using to put in to save up for Christmas. One could be my spending money that I have that I don't want to carry a bunch of cash. I will go to this like it's a bank and say I want to go buy some clothes or I want to go to the craft store like Michael's. I will come to my personal envelope and I will take out a withdrawal of however much I need and um, that's how we use the envelope system. If you want to learn more about it, I like I said, I highly recommend Dave Ramsey. Also in here, we have this little credit card holder or card holder and we put our cards in here that we do not want to be tempted to swipe. Um, now we're adults, we could come in here and take them out if we want, carry them in our wallet if we want, but if we have cards we just don't want to be using or tempted to use, we keep them in here. Now, because I didn't want to write on my envelopes, I did put a little bit of extra spare pages so that I can write down from my spending money. I took out whatever, or in my savings, I just added whatever. So I have some spare pages that came with this planner. This next section is actually brand new to my system here, which I'm so excited that I have this in one because they used to be two separate books. Now I have a section for meals where I do my meal planning because before every paycheck, I sit down on every Thursday before the paycheck and I figure out the budget and I do the meal planning. So now everything's here in one book for me. These are by CS Illustrations and explaining meal planning is a whole nother video in my opinion, but these are perfect and I love them. And it helps me stay within budget and find out if I went over or under, if I went under, awesome, I get to put that money into some other category. If I went over, well, then I guess it looks like I'm gonna be <laughs> putting my spending money towards it. But that's how you keep a budget going as everything should be allotted for. Next is the last category, it's called lists. And in here I have some little red papers, bill payment info, you could think of it as a bill address book. Since I pay my bills online, I can just come here to remember my password. For fun, I have some extra goodies in the back. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. Little page flags and sticky notes. Need to make them, use them, whatever. They're there for me and I punch them in. Extra note paper that I went ahead and put the slits in. So if I need more room for meal planning or budgeting, I have it. The planner came with so much as is. Why not have it here? I have a top loading pocket where I keep a few stickers, some of those labels for my dividers, some of those payday stickers, but you don't have to have ones that say payday. You could use anything. This I think came from like the Dollar Tree or circle it in red, it doesn't matter. But I do have some stickers here. And then this notepad came with the planner, just extra notes and doodles, and then my friction, pilot pin that is erasable and that is everything in my budget book so I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out also I just want to let you know I did not start out having such a fancy budget book I want to show you real quickly my very first budget book this one we used this for three years straight Five star really does hold up. It had a place for a pin. We have some old envelopes in there. I've just held on to this because I don't know. It was our budgets for three years. We just wrote it out on a lined piece of paper and it lasted. Also, I upgraded once that was full to this system here, a mini binder I got from like 
Target or Staples. I picked up some Avery dividers with each month, put in a little plastic slip for the mail, and a lined piece of paper to do the budget. So, you could do a budget in a million different ways. But this is my current system, which I'm in love with. I hope you liked it, too. If so, give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll hit subscribe to see me again. Until then, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.